Tom's haircut. Wake up, Tom," said Mum. "We are going to the hairdresser. You are going to have a haircut." Tom didn't like going to the hairdresser. Tom put his clothes on. He ate some rice pops. Then they drove to the hairdresser's shop. Look," said Dad. "The shop is closed. There is a note from the hairdresser." They drove home. Tom played a tune on his flute. Then he played on the slide with Holly. They played with Tom's blue kite, but the string broke. What shall we do now? Tom asked. I will cut your hair," said Holly. "I will use those little scissors. Sit here, Tom. Sit still." Holly cut the back of Tom's hair. She cut the front of Tom's hair. She cut the top of Tom's hair. She cut the sides of Tom's hair. There was hair all over Tom's clothes, and a huge pile of hair on the mat. But there was not much hair on Tom's head. Oh no! Look at my hair! Tom said. I don't like it. Holly was upset. Can you stick my hair back on my head with glue? Tom asked. No, I can't," said Holly. Then Mum came in. She looked at Tom. She looked at Tom's hair. She looked at the hair on the mat. She looked very cross. Then she spoke to Tom. I hope this is a joke, she said. It's not a joke, said Holly. I cut Tom's hair. I will take you to see the hairdresser tomorrow, Tom," said Mum. "I hope he can help." The next day, Mum rang Luke, the hairdresser. She spoke to him on the phone. "Hello, Luke," Mum said. Can you cut Tom's hair today? Yes, I can. Luke said. Mum, Tom, and Holly drove to the hairdresser's shop. Luke cut Tom's hair. Do you like my haircut? Asked Tom. Yes, I do. Said Mum. Tom smiled. But Holly was still upset. You can have a present, Holly. You can have a present as well, Tom. Said Mum. Holly chose a cute doll in a blue dress. Tom. 
chose a telescope. Then they drove home. Look at my telescope, Tom said to Dad. Look at my cute doll, said Holly. Holly stroked the doll's long black hair. I like her blue dress, but look at her long hair. I think I will cut it, she said. <laughs>